Hey everyone, it's Ryan coming to you this week with another tech tip. This week's tech tip is all about unified threat managers. So before I tell you what a unified threat manager is, the question may be, do I even need to finish watching this tech tip? The answer is yes, you need one of these. You may not even realize it yet, but you need one. If your office has more than one computer, you need a UTM, a unified threat manager. So let's talk a little bit about what it is. It's a, basically it's a box that plugs into your network. You can see back here on the back, your network devices plug into it and it filters all your web traffic. Well, you may say, why is that important? Well, one of the big things we're seeing today is that viruses are getting smarter. Malware is getting worse every day. For instance, let's take last year. There were two million new viruses last year. Well, Kaspersky, McAfee, Symantec, uh, Viper, ESET, they all do a pretty good job of, of catching viruses. In fact, they catch about 99%, but that means that that 1% that they miss, that's 20,000 viruses that get through. So what we found is you have to take a layered approach, and that's where these devices, these UTMs come in. We, we basically check out new products for our clients all the time. In fact, we're probably about once a week reviewing some new product that's out there, and in most cases, it may be helpful or beneficial to a couple of clients, but it's not something that everybody needs. But in this case, the UTMs are something that every client needs. We've been checking these things out for a year. We've tested half a dozen models. This is what we've recommended because it seems to be the very best of, of all that we've tested. We've got half of our clients using them now. So if you're a client that's using them, stick around for the rest of the video because you may, uh, you may find some useful reports that we can be running for you um, or some questions you may want to ask us. Um, if you don't have one though, definitely let's talk about what it does for you. Like I mentioned, the main thing, because it's, it gives us a layered approach, we can scan for viruses at the network level. Instead of just having antivirus on your desktops and laptops and servers, we can also run antivirus at the, at the network level. So it's blocking viruses before they ever get to your computers. This is important because we've seen a resurgence of the crypto locker virus. It's bad news. We've seen it all over the place, all over the country and all over the world. They're seeing uh, reports of it, but it seems to be hitting us here on the Gulf Coast especially hard. So these stop crypto locker viruses. That's very important. Also, it gives you anti-malware. Uh, which kind of goes along with the antivirus trend. Second, it does um, email security. So it scans your incoming email, make sure that email that you open is clean. Another thing is safe web browsing. So when you go to a website, if it sees that there's malicious code on the page, it just simply doesn't show you that part of the page. So very nice feature there. Another is web filtering. Say, uh, for example, you're the owner of the company and you don't want people to be able to go to Facebook or you don't want them to be able to go to online gambling websites this device can stop that. A lot of clients come back and say, no, no, let all that traffic pass through, but just give me a report. So we can give you a report showing how much of your bandwidth is being used for social media or how much is being used for other types of, uh, types of programs. So you don't necessarily have to start off blocking it. We really like it because of its antivirus functionality, but it does give you some things as a business owner uh, that you may like in addition to that. Second, firewall, or next, uh, that is firewall and VPN. Uh, of course, we recommend firewalls and VPNs to our clients for security. Well, this does that. So it gives you that extra level of security from, uh, from intrusion outside in. And then lastly, secure wireless. You can get these with or without wireless routers built in. So if you chose one with a wireless, it gives you a secure wireless connection. So again, nice feature there. So these are UTMs. Stick around. I'll show you some sample reports. And if you have any questions, give us a call. But the answer is yes, you need one of these. Thanks. Talk to you next time. So here are a few UTM reports that we use. Obviously these uh, benefit us managing the UTMs every day, uh, but also they're important to you, the end user. So for example, this is our, um, our live feed that shows us the availability, the uptime of each device. We can use this to monitor any issues or if, um, if there was a threat, we would be notified immediately. So this is kind of our live feed on the status of our UTMs in the field. This is a second report. Uh, we like this. It gives us the opportunity to dig in a little bit deeper. From this screen, we can turn features off and on. For example, if a client wasn't using uh, the IPS feature, we could turn it off. Um, it simply gives the client a little bit faster speed. So nice screen there. This is my favorite report. This is the 
app report. Uh, this is a sample that we recently ran at a new client's office. Uh, they had over 211 applications running on the network. Everything from YouTube uh, and Wikipedia to Zynga. And some of these applications aren't necessarily bad. It's just a matter of them running on the network during the day. For example, some of these are games. And do you really want these games run on the network during the day? So we like this report. It, you'd be amazed. Clients oftentimes have much, much more running on the network than they think. And this gives us a quick glance uh, so that we can make recommendations on running things smoother. We can obviously block these or we can simply keep reporting on them every month to make sure the, the owner of the business knows what's going on. And then lastly, one of the reports that we use a lot is the, uh, the IP report. This shows us which computers are downloading and uploading the most data. Uh, this happens occasionally. We'll have a client that calls and says, hey, the network seems really slow. We can run this report and immediately find out which machine is the culprit. Is there a machine that's uploading or downloading more than it should? Um, is somebody simply on YouTube or Netflix during the day when they shouldn't be? Things like that. So we can obviously control some of these things, uh, but if you just want them reported on, we can report on them as well. So again, uh, we normally aren't trying to sell something during our tech tip, but in this case, uh, we felt that the benefit of UTMs, um, they're massive. We've seen them solve uh, many problems uh, from bandwidth to viruses. We are huge fans. We've researched this for over a year, and we have, uh, we've kind of rolled the, the perfect blend of services into our UTM offering. So if you want to ask us more questions, we're here. We'd love to talk to you, and uh, we'll see you next Tech Tip. Thank you.